This is uh, with the um, sphere negative and uh, wow, and the ring positive. This is reversed from the direction that I usually have it. So the sphere, no, I'm, um, I'm sorry, the sphere is negative and the ring is positive. That's right. So the sphere, and this is at the 18 volts. Input here. Negative sphere, positive, uh, positive ring. Oops, sorry. It's really something. Um, that is really something. That is like a sun. That is uh, photosphere and sunspots and corona, solar type corona from the negatively charged central sphere. Now I'm going to reduce the voltage to about 12 volts. Not much visible change. And uh, now I'm going to turn off the vacuum pump. And we see pretty much the same, the same kind of thing happening as we did before. Just a little bit of difference there. Wow. Um, that's arcing down to the feed-through area. That goes, shuts off pretty soon. That's a place where it's not supposed to arc to. Almost five amps of current in there. Um, I didn't like that very much. I'm going to turn the vacuum pump back on now. I still haven't reduced the voltage. Okay, there it's still arcing down to the bottom of the central feed through. Now it's moved up into a glow discharge. That's good. It means I haven't punched a big hole in my system, at least. Now the glow is creeping over the sphere, unfortunately, from the back side. Oh, man. This is like a cosmic event. Um, the... The, uh, the live view doesn't have that oversaturated ring of white around it. It's just sort of a uniform purple, about the same as the central color that you're seeing in this image here. Uh, now I'm going to turn up the voltage again to 18 volts, and there's not much change there. These little tufts are very interesting. This is the first time I've done this. I hope I don't blow out my flyback transformer again. Those little tuft-like things on the copper tube are sticking up like bits of cotton or, I don't know, they're little bumps. They're like volcanoes, like EO volcanoes. Alright, thank you for watching.